Hi, this is Jamie from Master Dots. This is an Elementor add-on plugin. It has a lot of free elements and extensions which are enough to create an awesome website. As it's a freemium plugin, you can download it from the WordPress plugin repo. If you want to get the pro version, then check the pricing page from our official website. Link is given below for both free and pro versions. In this video, I am going to discuss about Advanced Accordion by Master Addons. If you navigate to this demo link of Advanced Accordion element, you will see a lot of demos there. And I am going to just discuss about some basic accordion in this video. For example, this default, then multicolor, then this rounded shape. I will talk in details about this accordion except nested accordion. I will discuss in details about nested accordion in the next video. And I will link that video in this video description letter. So let's navigate to our working space and drag advanced accordion inside our editor. And you will see this type of default layout. If I click on this title, you will see some content appeared. Then if I click on this title too, then the first one will be disappear and the second title two description will appear. This is how the accordion work. Now accordion type, here you will see toggle or accordion. I recommend you to go with accordion. Then title HTML tag. If you need H1 or H2, then select your title tag instead of div. But for the accordion, I think div is perfect. And toggle icon you can enable it or disable it if you disable the toggle icon you will see the icon is gone here if you enable it then you will see the open icon and collapse icon if I select a different collapse icon for example this one now if I click here and you see the icon is changed this is the collapse icon right now if I click on this and you see the, it's plus now Okay, so we discussed in details about the setting system. Now let's navigate to our accordion content. Here you can see as much as accordion as you need or you can just duplicate by clicking on this option and then delete by clicking on this close icon. And if you need to add item, just click on add. And here is your title. Then the content. Now let's see how to customize uh, accordion in different color or set as a default. So let's just set the first one as a default one. It will be opened by default. Okay. Now it's opened by default. If I click on this one, then that one will be closed. But when visitor load a page, he or she will see something like this by default. Then let's enable a background color. And for title color, title background color, let's change it to blue. And let's change the title color to white. Now let's do the same thing for content. Content background color, uh, let's make it a darkish color, maybe something like this and the content color okay white okay now if i go and you will see the changes this is how the background and content color works and let's disable the background color because i want a flat color for all of this but if you need background color you can manually do it now let's navigate to our style area. Okay. Here you see the style preset. Style preset 1, 2, 3 to 10. If I select 7, you see the changes. Now you see the style preset is changed. Here you can see a circle box. And now if I select 9, you can see the changes. If I select 4, okay so this is how you have to select the perfect style preset based on your web page and 
customize other style items spacing if i need more space then i inside the items just increase the spacing border type if you need a border select solid or double anything you want then let's decrease this page a little bit okay now it's perfect the border width let's make it one pixel that's good okay now if you need border radius you can individually set border radius for this if i select 10 then you will see the border radius but i don't need it so let's skip this border radius and the color it's your border color if you select red you see the changes i think you can see it's red right now now let's go to the title content and toggle icon here you will see title hover and active normal color is background is white and color is black if i hover then the background will be black and color will be white if active then let's change it to blue so that i can show you in details so now let me hover and you see the color is black if i click and then it's blue this is how the normal hover and active for the title is work you can increase the font size for active or hover or normal too you can apply different border for this title area from this option now let's navigate to our content area here is the same thing background color text color typography and padding customize your desired color and typography from this option for content and then finally the toggle icon toggle icon if i change the color to red you can see the color is changing and then active color is white okay i want active color is black then you can see the changes active color then size you can increase the size okay as much as you need Okay, that's all about advanced accordion system. In the next video, I'm going to talk about nested accordion by master add-ons. Make sure to download, install and active master add-ons from our official website or our WordPress plugin repo page. Otherwise, you can't work with our extensions and elements.